just what you've seen of South Dakota State so far, what, what can you tell us about the Jackrabbits? Well, they've got uh, the quarterback is, is the name of the game. I mean, they got a great quarterback, and then they got a great linebacker. And I, I think they kind of build around those two, particularly the quarterback. And that's what's been consistent uh, from the years and playing them twice last year and the previous year. You know, we've played them a few times now. Uh, excellent football player in his senior year. Uh, so you can imagine that he's even stepped his game up a little bit more and he has. And, uh, you know, I watched him make some runs last week that were pretty dynamic where he took off. And there's not many people on the field that can catch him when he when he when he takes off. So and he's a leading all time passer uh, at South Dakota State. So uh, I think that kind of speaks for itself when you have that kind of player uh, moving your football team, leading your football team. Uh, that's why they are probably number two in the country. They don't have a Goddard or a Winicky for him to throw to, but have they kind of reloaded at that position in their passing game? It, it appears. I'm sure you know that it probably isn't that you don't have the name that has appeared yet, but there's there's definitely guys that they've thrown to in the same way, used in the same way, and uh, you know you can kind of see where he's looking at target wise, but. It's it's very similar. It's just that there's new names and new faces and new numbers that you're getting acquainted with as the season progresses, and it's starting to get a little bit more stabilized now, where you kind of see what the, what the plan looks like. But it's it's very similar to what it was last year. How are they defensively? I think they're very good defensively. I think that their front four have really improved, and uh, their linebacker core looks really good right now. I mean, that's what I've just noticed in 24 hours of watching them is is. Over, you tend to really see, at least I tend to see, the differences from over the years where they've progressed and maybe where things have changed. And I think they've really progressed in their defensive front. You faced a, a quarterback that was pretty elusive in, in East and Stick. Is, is this kind of a similar type of offense with a running quarterback that you'll face? Yeah, I'd say he's, he's very, he's probably, he's probably very similar speed wise to Easton. He probably, he probably throws better. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, Easton does a great job too. But you know, when you look at what how they use them, is probably a better way to say it. Is uh, you know, Easton's more of a play action guy, whereas uh, 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 this quarterback can drop back and throw the football. He's probably more groomed as a throwing quarterback than he is as a running quarterback. Where maybe Easton is more of a play action bootleg quarterback than he is a drop back quarterback. It's the, at least the second week in a row, coach, where Eli's really spread the ball around. Mm -hmm. seven, eight, 